The life of Esteban the Moor is very interesting in the American point of view. Esteban the Moor is the first African American to set foot in the United States. Known as Estebanico or Esteban the Moor, he was a slave who did not fit the stereotype of a slave. As in, he was an educated black man. He colonized Arizona and New Mexico. Estebanico is a legendary man, and every African American person today should know who he is. This is his story. Estebanico was born in 1500. He was also known as Esteban the Moor. Esteban Nico was sold into slavery to the Portuguese in the town of Azamor. He was the slave of Andres Durantes, who took him on the Narvez expedition. Esteban Nico traveled with Durantes to Hispaniola and Cuba in 1527. He is known as the first African American to set foot in continental United States. He was one of the four soldiers that survived the Spanish Narvez expedition. In 1539, Esteban Nico was one of the four men who were in search of the fabled seven cities of gold. The other three men who accompanied Esteban Nico were stricken with illness and he was forced to press on alone. He opened up what is now known as New Mexico and Arizona. He was killed by the Zuni people in 1939. Some believe that Esteban Nico was not killed by the Zuni people and that he faked his death to achieve freedom. In reflection, unfortunately Esteban the Moor met his fate in New Mexico. His owl feathers were a Zuni symbol of death and frightened the Zunis and killed Esteban. Esteban is not well known today, but there is one organization, the Esteban Society, that is researching his life and travel.